Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Mackenzie Fo and today I'm going to go over my five tips for beginner photographers. Okay, so my five tips for beginner photographers is number one, learn your camera. Yeah, I've recently bought this uh, little camera for my son's birthday, so I'm going to be teaching him about, um, well he's going to learn about video, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for both of us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to play with this camera for the first week, just learning all the different settings and stuff like that. Um, I would advise when you get a new camera, spend a week just getting to know it, learning all the different sort of menus that it has, the different ways you can have it set up and if it's got custom settings choose one set up for one of your custom modes that you're going to be shooting in the most number two shoot raw i can't emphasize this enough Shooting RAW makes a massive difference to your workflow. Shooting JPEG may condense the size on your cart, um, but if you're needing more space on your carts, buy bigger carts. The RAW setting will make a bigger difference in your photography when you go to post-process than you will well, just having JPEGs. And if you're selling your images, a lot of companies in that would prefer to have the RAW to if they have an in-house editor. Tip number three, shoot from different angles. Shoot from down low and shoot from up high. Getting a different perspective on an image rather than just shooting straight on at your head height does make a massive difference to the image. Um, I'll be putting some images up on screen to, to show what I mean um, from shooting down low. Um, I don't... Tip number three, Shoot from different perspectives. Get up high, get down low. Don't be frightened to get down low or get up high to get that shot that you want. Obviously, if it's dangerous getting up high, don't, don't put yourself in any danger. But definitely try to get the shot from a different perspective. It will just make your shots a bit more interesting. It may even catch the eye of someone that you want to sell your images to. Rule number four is learn the rule of thirds. I have a bit of a history with the rule of thirds. Now it is a good thing to learn, but it is not a rule. You don't have to abide by it, but it's just something to have in the back of your mind. Um, it, it does help you compose an image quite well in the beginning, but don't feel that you have to stick to it as a rule. Never think of it as a pinpointed rule. You can experiment outside. Any rules that you've been taught in photography, experiment outside them and you may find that, you've, that you build a few techniques for yourself that you enjoy using that doesn't work with the rule of thirds. Tip number five, the one most important of all, is shoot, shoot, shoot. Get out and shoot as much as you can. The best way to learn photography that i found is by doing. So once you've learnt your camera, you know all the settings and you, so you can quickly set them up, get out there and go and shoot as much as possible. You'll learn from your mistakes and that's a big, big thing as well. Learning from your mistakes. If you're not happy with the shot, look at how you shot it and take away the information so you can go back out and improve on it. So shoot as much as possible. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me today and I hope it was helpful for you and see you in the next video.